the home of the Pirates. We're at beautiful PNC Park. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Detroit Tigers going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And starting in this one, Marco Gonzalez. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone Leading for off, a yeah, strike, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hitters oh, oh. commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging Parker, over the top of that curveball. Now it's going to be Parker Meadows. The why to kick the pitch. Strike on the outside. And we're underway in Pittsburgh. And a nope. good eye there. One and one. Up and That's in. And a count two and one. And now the lefty. Two and two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Here's Riley Green. Outfield playing pretty shallow. And there's a strike. One out, base is empty. table setters on the base paths and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie and instead of it being a solo shot it's a two or three run homer now here is Spencer Torkelson two down nobody on and strike two. two. I went two. That's Down. a little oh. bit low. Two outs, base is empty. Next That's one in the dirt. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. And the pitch. Swing and a miss and a changeup in the dirt. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. End of a half inning of play. No score. Back here in Pittsburgh. And our starting pitcher here today, Jack Flaherty. What's the scouting report on him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all of those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And a foul ball. Out of bounce right side. Keith fires over to first. 
One gone bottom half of the first. Here's a Pirates lineup now. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. One down, base is empty. That one pulled foul. Here's a 1 1. Late with the swing there. 1 2. And another ball. 2 2. Two and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. One drilled left field. Fire ball. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, digging for two. Throws off target as he slides in with a double. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And at second with one away, keep Ryan Hayes, the next pirate to hit. That one, one way no inside. Reynolds leads off second with one gone in the inning. That's in there. And the count one and one. Well, we call that key hold. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. One, two now. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, a great grab on the dive. On hey. the money. Nice play. Well, you can see right there, he looks very that comfortable that going to the backhand. That's nice that's diving that's stop. Gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the team up for sure. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jack Sawinski. There's a strike. Two outs. Just That's missed. That's down. see it right there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning back here at PNC Park now it's the DH Kerry Carpenter you know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to oh. hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Gonzalez, a 6'1 lefty, 32 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him Rebound. last season. 
in for a strike, and it's one, one and one. one. Time to check in our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Oh, the throw is over his head, and it's going to wind up out of play. Well, he just tried to force a play that wasn't there. Ends up a single and a throwing error, so now they have to deal with a runner in scoring position. You know, good communication on the field can make a big difference on a play like that. And now Colt Heath. Yeah. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Go ahead, run at second. Here at the top of the second. On the ground, right side. Tosses the first. No. One out in second. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Here's Mark Canna. Oh, he doesn't get the call, and that's ball one. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Right through there for a strike. Kicks and fires. Down to ball here. Rolls foul. One away with a runner at third. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. In the air, center field, under it. Brings it in, runner tags from third. In comes the first run of the game. It's 1-0 Tigers. Well, we finally have a score in this ball game. Sack fly, nice job of manufacturing a run, and that could end up being a big run at this rate. Gio Urshela to the plate. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. And that extends the inning. And next to hit for Detroit, Zach McKinstry. Little chopper rolls foul. Here comes a pitch. And that one fouled off. Strike three. So it's one run, two hits, an error, and one left on base. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Tigers one and the Pirates nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the right fielder, Connor Joe. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone. 1 and 0. On the ground to third. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Save at first. No play. We'll see how they score this. And now it's Rowdy Tillettes.
That's in there. That's strike one. Oh, one. Chopped in the ground. And that's oh. just foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The 0-2. And that's oh. down it away. Way to lay off that pitch down. Close oh. one. Doesn't get the call. Two, two and two. two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Yeah. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One out. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right that there after up. not getting a call. No he probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Edward Olivares. That's in there. Strike one. And there he goes. And that one is lifted in the air. Squeezes it. Batting it. The second baseman. Now it's the second baseman. Skips in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating Ball, based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. And he deals. <laughs> strike one. Two balls, one strike. The tying run on at first, bottom half of inning number two. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Righty delivers. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Pitch. Got yeah. it. And that'll do it. So one left for Pittsburgh. They're down one nothing. Back here in Pittsburgh, onto the third inning. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. Gonzalez back to work. That's hard hit in the line. And hits the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Clearly ready to hit right there. First pitch of the inning hits a bullet. Yeah. And it just this is one of those bad luck ABs. Here's the center fielder, Parker Meadows. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Bounced up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. He decides to eat it, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. Now, waste no time there, and now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. One gone runner at first. Riley Green now at the plate. That one finds the zone. Going one. Pitch. That's the ball. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And a 1 1. Foul off left side. Kicks and deals. Swing and a 
has struck him out. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Now, Spencer Torkelson, 0 for 1 so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs. And oh. this is inside. Chris with Two that up. distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Next right. offering is in for a strike. And another ball. Oh. Kerry Carpenter. Waiting to hit for Detroit. Meadows off of first with two away. Sliced hard but foul. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. One left for Detroit, but they still lead it one nothing. As we go to the last of the third, here's the Pirates catcher now, Henry Davis. The line of the pitch. Ball nope, one, no strikes. Ball. Yeah, and a swing and a miss there. One and one. Swing, did he go? Yes, he did. One and two, count. Three. And a swing Three. and a miss. Now one away. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So oh, credit the pitcher for having him out no, in front of that no. pitch. Clearly oh, he had him So the lineup flips over. Here's O'Neill Cruz. That yeah. one finds the zone. Strike one. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that one fouled off. Right-hander deals. Quick. Got him! Now two away. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Brian Reynolds here doubled his first time up. There's a strike. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the last half of the third. And here it comes. And that one hammered. Hits the fence. Makes the turn. He's digging for second. And a whips it back in as the tying run is forced to stop at second. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH.
second here with two away. Now batting key Brian Hayes. That one finds the corner, and it's 0 and 1. Runner at second, two down. Next pitch is outside. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Hauls it in to end the inning. Pirates leave one, and it remains one nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth, now here's the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. Carpenter. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Ball. That one misses, and that's ball one. And the pitch. Outside corner, there's a strike. And no, another that ball. That's a ball. It's getting squeezed a little bit here. Two one. The wind of the pitch. In Let's for a strike. Go. And the count's even at two. And that ball one down. off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. He tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And next up for the Tigers, Colt Heath grounded out his first time. There's the strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this oh, one. one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above the league that. average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. In, and now it's even one and one. Well, these Tigers doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient bats out. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Good job to fight that one off. Carpenter gets his lead at first with nobody out. The other way, and there's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And the batter now, Mark Cannon. And that's in for a strike. one right side and foul ball first and second here no outs here's the 0-2 Next offering misses down and away. Two, 
two. In the dirt, but kept close. To third, got and got him. him. Well, you want to see guys aggressive out there on the base pass, but you also want to see them smart as well in making their decisions. And right there, couldn't really tell how far away that ball was. So if that's the case, you got to shut it down. It gets caught stealing there, takes himself out of scoring position. Would Come chase forward. that time. Fly ball down the line, and that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. And it's ball four. He missed down low. That's a great at bat. He saw a yeah, lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Good. Urshela in the box now. Take strike one. one. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue finish off this hitter. Two on, one out. Fouled off. He was late. And a pitch just that's, off that's the ball. outside part of the plate. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Runners at first and second with one gone. Top half of inning number four. That one just misses. Two balls, two strikes. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. pitch to first maybe a two ball wide throw and it gets away headed for the plate he'll score easily it's two nothing now got the a potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly at first baseman he's got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base and a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner which can really mess up a throw like that still definitely an error though Zach McKinstry up now for the Tigers swing and a miss it's 0-1 0-1 One out, runners at first and second. There's Ooh. a strike. Pulls that one down. Two down. Now that So first and second with two outs. And here's the catcher, Carson Kelly. He's over one. Just no, off the makes, outside ball. edge. Ball one. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. He and that drops in for a strike. Well, I know they've one gotten down to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Bows it off, still one and two. Ah. Not a miss, struck him out. 
inning over, and it could have been worse. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Tigers two, and the Pirates nothing. And we're back. Bottom of the fourth at the plate for Pittsburgh. Jack Sawinski. The pitch. Swing and he breaks his back. Makes the grab one away. The right fielder, number two. Connor. And now the right fielder, Connor Joe. Reached on an infield single his first time. Right through there for a strike. Oh, and one. The Pirates trailing by two. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And that's in for a strike. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Make quick work of him right there, Siggy. I know that's the kind of a bat maybe leaves a lot of fans wondering, what was he doing up there, right? Yeah, and I get that. I mean, you take two straight strikes, then chase one way out of the zone. It's it's just not a good at bat. It'll leave you shaking your head as a hitter, if not worse. But there's always going to be those trips to the plate where you're just lost up there, and that was one of them for sure. Here's Rowdy Telez. There's a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Two down, nobody on. Comes up empty. That's strike two. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Only two now. On the ground to the left, foul. and it goes just foul. Two outs, and another foul. ball. And he can't come up with it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Three up, three down for him there. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Tigers two, and the Pirates nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now the center fielder, Parker Meadows. Parker Meadows. And a pitch. And one that ball, one missing no low. That's nope. inside. Oh. The pitch. High fly ball out into left center field. Olivares moving under it. Makes the grab one down. A little drop and drive on that swing. Backside collapsing just now a little that. bit. Let's trying to put the ball in the air. Riley. And up next for Detroit, Riley Green, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And there's That's a ball. The ball. And a pitch. That's the ball. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. And, oh. and a foul ball. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Lifted in the air right center field. Joe getting an angle on it. Makes the grab for the second out. Now, the first baby, Spencer 
Torkelson. And next to hit for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. That's the ball. Four That's pitch ball walk. Take your break. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short. Yeah, starting yeah. to show some yeah, signs yeah. of fatigue. So yeah. we'll see how much longer they let him go. Man at first, Kerry Carpenter, the next to hit. And yeah. there's the strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jared Jones, the rookie right hander, is getting loose. Perez getting loose as well. Torkelson, the runner at first with two gone. That one no, missed. And oh. another ball. And that's Ball. downstairs and outside. First pitch Three strike one. from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Two outs. And two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. And now the lefty headed down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Edward Olivares. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. First pitch Ball, doesn't high. find the zone. You know, these Pirates, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. And that oh. one is inside. that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's the second baseman. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Slap the other way, foul. Tying run at the plate. That ball, one off ball. the mark. And one and one. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. One, one now. Line to left. That's a hit. Throwback 
escape quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Oh, just a nice job coming now, through. Uh, High leverage spot right there. Nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now the catcher comes up to him. Henry Davis struck out swinging his first time. Your ball, one strike. So the tying run at second. Fall off foul. And he'll two. Base hit into the outfield. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Eagles run. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Really important at bat coming up now. And now the Pirates lead off, man. O'Neal Cruz. The shortstop oh. takes the ball. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. And a 1-0. Late swing, foul to the left. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something but you've got to make some pitches but if he can battle and get through this he can earn some points bases loaded nobody out foul ball still one and two count Right-hander kicks, deals. Base hit, one run is in. Runner held at third, and they'll be loaded again with nobody out. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there, he doesn't try to do too much. Base is loaded, nobody out. Brian Reynolds, the next Pirate to hit. And yeah. that's in for a strike. Right through there for a strike. To third, might be two. On a second, they get one. They get the out, but the run scores in the twin kill. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double plays kind of a rally killer. Key Brian Hayes digs in now. And fouled off. Try to keep this a 2-2 game. Last half of inning number five. Now the throw to first on the run. The winning run crosses the plate and they walk it off and win it 3-2. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan, a walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.
for the Saskatoons. First for the victorious Pirates. Three runs on eight hits. Two errors. They left three runners on base. For the Tigers, two runs on four hits. No errors. They left five runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 51 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.